Hey guys, welcome back to some more Rory McIlroy PGA to end part 9 of our career mode and today we start our first major championship of the series in the EA Sports Spring Invitational at Wolf Creek. As before, I, I, I am going to continue with the three quick rounds and the, the one full round simply because of the nature of this course it is a very difficult course i don't want us to necessarily miss the cut so um we will be doing the three quick rounds of the one full round but for future um major events should we continue the series um we will uh do four full rounds uh but yeah we'll talk around the golf course about the future of this series and um, this might well be the last tournament that we play, uh, for reasons I'll discuss in the video. EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present opening round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Today we're here at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada. Rich Loader alongside Frank Navalo set to bring you all of the action for the EA Sports Spring Invitational. And Frank, what can the players expect from Wolf Creek? Just a mesmerizing layout, Rich. You can see that from above. Straight driving is imperative out there today. You actually don't have to hit the ball a long way. The elevation on those tees is going to give you that extra distance on almost every shot. You can even take driver out of play on some of the holes but really it's about being in the right position first on those tee shots that you're gonna to hit today. Resuming the action, and let's go out to hole number 11. Been a steady performance so far early in this first round, but at some point, Frank, they need to take steady to spectacular. Yeah, I think that's a good point, Rich, and, um, and really sooner rather than later, that's for sure, but uh, yeah, steady becomes boring if it stays on for too long. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot now we'll have this for birdie. Certainly not a bad start, um, considering the winds and the really elevation of the tee. The well, this will test his middle. This one just requires a little bit of focus. And there we go. Decent start of the round getting the par, but uh, yeah, as we were talking about before, this series, you know, as much as I am really enjoying it and... Uh, I think you guys are enjoying it as well, those of you that are watching it. Uh, um, a lot of fairway down the right. Seem to be really enjoying it. Can be reachable and too. There's still trouble to the right of this green. Oh, he almost got it. But this, without doubt, the longest green on the golf course. It's 55 yards from front to back. Getting set for this next shot from the rough. What does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if, if you know what you're doing. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. Oh. It's going to be in the rough, it looks like. That one ends up in the rough. That went sideways. Frank, this is where the mental game really comes into play. You've hit a second consecutive shot into the rough. Yeah, this could, could pound very, very quickly, so now's the chance to just take a little breath. Take a breather and try to make sure this shot certainly gets out. Well, after a couple of dodgy shots to from rough to rough to rough, we are finally on the green and here for par, but that, that is hasn't gone well. Regulation. But it's not yet a par on the card. Very tough putt coming up. No. <clears throat> that was not a very good read right there. So this hasn't gone well. Not a gimme, but well within his range. That's it, though. Nice, clean putt there. But, uh, yeah, as much as you guys are enjoying it, as much as I'm enjoying it, it's it's not really getting the views on the channel. And, and you know, the whole reason of not doing FM as much, um, you know, and, and the new direction of the channel was to, to do series that not only I enjoyed, but also got views on the channel. And, um, you know, the, this one isn't really... So the direct line, oh my god, that's terrible. Because it might give you too much of a clue, but it might be worth taking. It's going to be a blind tee shot, though, and you're not quite sure on the outcome. Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. In the greenside bunker here, Frank. Nice to go to the beach, but 
Not too often, we hope. That's not too bad. So yeah, I think we'll we'll do this tournament, and then unfortunately, unless things massively pick up uh, with the views, uh, it won't be continuing. Which is a shame, you know. And I, I get the argument: do what you enjoy. But you know, part of the enjoyment of YouTube, as I've said, is actually you know getting views on your content and people enjoying it and and, and channel growth. And and this isn't really uh, cutting the mustard at the moment. So. It's a shame, because I do enjoy this, and I know you guys enjoy it as well, but uh, with how well Snooker's doing and, and Cricket's doing on the channel, uh, even F1, um, which has come back this week, is, is doing well as well. So, you know, I hope you guys understand that. Uh, but we will have one last tournament where we can hopefully uh, come out with a major victory. just keep sort of hooking around that left side. Um, it plays under 450 yards. It's fun. Just sort of draw it a little off the tee, draw it a little into the green, and you'll be fine. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. That's well played. Now a good look at Birdie. Mm. This is an awkward length. Oh, wow. That was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. He has this attempt for par. Very tough golf course, this one. Drops it, and he's at even par. Second round coverage coming your way. Well, that's the end of the round. Oh, goodness crew. me. I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. So we end on even par, which, you know, is 16th place around here. It's uh, it's not going to be a very low score that wins it uh, in the end because it's so tough and, and the conditions are so difficult. People just don't do well on this course, and uh, it's a shame, really. Um, but it is just almost impossible to do well on it. But uh, we'll keep going with it, and we'll we'll try our absolute best to, to get a good round in the end. It, it's got me full concentration this time, so second round coverage. Hopefully it'll be all right. But I think we've got the same holes again, if I'm not mistaken. So that might be good. We'll come back a couple of clubs here because we're going down 80 feet here. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Oh, that's okay. That's going to fly all the way. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Oh, what a putt that is. Well, wow. things pointed to a good week. Birdie there, very important right now. Playing some good golf. From a par three to a par five here at the 12th, it measures 560 yards, a sweeping dog leg left, and there is some trouble down that left side. This is a scary tee shot. There's no two ways about it, Rich. Um, you've got to get the ball in play because you, you can really rack up a good score here. That water very much in play. Doesn't matter what club you decide to hit off the tee. 560 yards actually is reachable, believe it or not. But uh, you know, you've got to get it on the fairway. You don't really have to be too brave and try and take too much over there. The other thing, too, to consider about is, is this green is nearly half the length of an NFL football field. It's 55 yards from the front of this green to the back of the green. And as he strides up here to the 12th green, having hit it in regulation, he knows now that his work is by no means done. A long putt coming up. It's a good-looking putt right here. Could be. Oh, what a putt that is. My goodness me. Oh, I wish we had a replay of that. That was cr a cracker. I don't know. Should we just fly it over the mountains, Frank? <laughs> it looks like that. Uh, but then you better find dry land. 350 yards, but as the crow flies, it's probably just a little over 300 yards. I don't know if the mere mortals would really want to flash it across that desert ridge. Um, you probably want to play a little left of it. Oh no! Pitch up the hill, but if you're one of the longer hitters, that's out of bounds. I think. Right. See if you can make it. Or oh, is it? 
<laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> Surely they're not going to make us play from here. I hope not. It's got to be out of bounds, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. That'll be from about 90 yards away. Oh, well. Gonna bounce off there. That's not bad. <laughs> From where we were, I'll take that. the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. Right. Oh, that's good. Our computer gives us uh, 23 feet, Rich. Different day, different hole. Made bogey yesterday. He'll do better this time, it looks like. Don't speak too soon, Rich. Oh! That is a painful miss right there. And a bogey. Drop shot here at the 13th. Going to it's a pity because we hit that uh, previous eagle put. Ouch. We really can't afford to give away shots at this point in the tournament, Frank. Frank, describe the layout here at the 14th hole. It's 444 yards, and what a beautiful hole. It is, and it's a beautiful view. You see everything from the top of that tee there. It's a hole that keeps bending to the left. There's enough bunkers down the left there to actually take your eye. That's why you've got to fixate on, a, on, a, on something in the, dif in the distance that's a much better line than worrying about that wall of sand down the left side. Frank, on an uphill shot like this one, did you do anything differently in terms of your setup over the ball? Yeah, I made sure the ball wasn't too far forward because on an uphill shot, there's always a struggle to get all your weight going forward. Not enough on that one. You yeah, just seemed to baby it. Third shot, looking for a good one. Ooh. Then this needed to sit a little bit, but no it's not too bad. And yet another green in regulation. Got it. Very important that we did that there. That par certainly won't uh, hurt the course. There's still some time. Now to the par 3 15th hole here at Wolf Creek. Frank, this is the shortest hole on the course. And their version of a postage stamp type hole, minus the bunkers on the right side. Uh, green elevated falls off, as you can see, down the left side. Uh, club selection is vital. But it is such a short hole, it's very, very tempting, especially when that flag's on the left side to still go out. Wow, how terrible was that? And you are going to be considerably lower than the level of this green. Chance to get it close here. Frank, you've played all over the world in different conditions. How much did you enjoy desert golf? Well, Rich, once I got to um, understand elevation changes and obviously the thinner air that the, the desert golf provides, then it became really enjoyable. But at first, it's just getting used to how far that ball flies. And I'm not just talking with the driver, I'm talking more about the scoring clubs. Once you get over that hurdle, then it's, it's, it's a great experience. Frank, right where you want to be at the midway point of a tournament. Yeah, you know your game's solid. Um, the focus is more on the leader and that you can just go out and play. Uh, excellent position to be in. There we have it. Uh, a bit around that time, you know, three under uh, for the round. Only two off the lead going into um, the, the third round, moving day. Waiting for pizza, apparently. <laughs> um, and hopefully we'll be able to, uh, to, to make some more shots uh, ready for the finale round on Friday. Uh, but yeah... It is a wonderful golf game, this, and I do hope that one day a year get the license back and make a follow-up to this. Proudly present third round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Always some extra excitement when you get to the first major championship of the year, and here we are. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabila. We're at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada for the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Partner, this is a big one. It certainly is, Rich. And being the first major of the year, you know the players are going to be a little bit more nervous. Anticipations of a great year are going to start right here this week at Wolf Creek. And going to have to make all those adjustments. He went for the brief swim there, Frank. He's trying to stay dry now. He is. Uh, just trying to avoid water on the brain as well. <laughs> this will take a good swing. Third shot now after the last one found the deep blue. 
Yeah, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that you got punished for. Very disappointed with that. Even more disappointed with that. Well, he'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. Your yeah, swing didn't quite look right on that one. Frank, you always talk about it not compounding the error, but here again, another shot from the rough. Yeah, <laughs> if, you, if you try, 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 try again. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. Well, not the best not start of the day. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Well, too bad he gives one back. Rather disappointing, if you ask me. 248 yards down to the green. What a hole. Yeah, maybe you put your two hands together, make a little prayer. You might make two, but uh, make three here and run to the next two. This is uh, it's just a gorgeous par three. Yeah, but it is it is tough. Um, every bit as uh, tough as it, what it is pretty, as a matter of fact. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really... It was a, a rather poor approach shot. Well, we might have exaggerated the the break a little bit there, but a nice lag putt. Just five feet left. And another par on the scorecard. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Stepping up to the shot here at the ninth, it's a par four, 390 yards. It is anything other than straight off the tee because of all these sort of undulations and curvature on the fairway. Uh, you'd think well bunkered, but the last bunker on the right side there, longer hitters, they can nearly fly that just over 300 yards. Either that shorter hitter just played that fat area of the green. That'll be sort of some, uh, you know, 270 yards that will take all the water out of play into a green that slopes back at you. So, very good chance, even with a wedge in hand, to get the ball close. A good way to finish the front nine. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Oh. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. This for par. I think we've been a little bit unlucky today. Good putt. To be quite honest. The par four tenth. What's the right way to attack this hole, Frank? Rich, you've got to convince yourself there's more fairway down there than what it first looks. Uh, because of that ridge on that right side, the desert there blocks your view off the tee. But this fairway is just as wide as every other fairway on the golf course. Um, a good drive, sort of 280, 300 yard plus, will always take those bunkers down the left out of play. From there, that second shot, just be aware where the flag is. If they have it in that front or middle section, this is certainly a birdie hole. Anything on the green is going to be a, a very sort of makeable putt. Just be careful, though, when that flag is on the back right. That's the hard position because it brings that pop bunker into play. And an awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. Very disappointing once again. Okay. Great shot coming out of that bunker right there. Showing some skills today. Not a gimme, but well within his range. And it's there, and hopefully our AI manages to pick up a couple of shots. Because uh, we've lost a shot over the day. the top ten going to the final 18, Frank, what are your thoughts? Well, I think you're going to have to approach the final round in a couple of different phases. Try and be aggressive early on. If you do get a few birdies in the bank, you really still can fancy yourself with a chance to win. Well, only five off the, the lead, which isn't too bad. Russell Knox leading the way at the moment. Uh, and can we have a romantic end to the series uh, next time out on Friday? So that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. If you have enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. Really does help me out. means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for one more golf <laughs> golf episode and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye